In this video, we're going to look through some of the new MIDI enhancements in Pro Tools 12.8.2. In previous versions of Pro Tools, the docked MIDI editor could only be accessed by the view menu or from a UI arrow at the bottom of the edit window. Now by holding Shift Control Option and Equals on a Mac or Shift Windows Alt and Equals on a PC, the docked MIDI editor can easily be opened or closed. Inside the MIDI editor, or in the notes view of the edit page, you can now use the left and right arrow keys to select MIDI notes. The tapped transient function in the notes view will no longer make note selections. It will only move the cursor to the next note on position. Holding the shift key and the left or right arrow key will select multiple notes to the left or right of the insertion point. This feature can not only improve your speed while editing, but create fast workflows without having to navigate to the toolbar. Another new feature to Pro Tools is the MIDI input display. This allows users to view incoming MIDI data in the form of notes and chords. The MIDI input display can be viewed in the MIDI editor window and the edit window toolbar. Using chords taken from the Sibelius Chords library, this new MIDI input display is a helpful tool for songwriting and composing in Pro Tools. Pro Tools 12.8.2 has improved MIDI merge recording of sustain and other CC data with the addition of the touch and latch options that can be found by right-clicking the MIDI merge button in the MIDI control section of the transport window or the toolbar of the edit window. Touch mode allows you to punch in and punch out CC data without recording over the entire performance, whereas latch mode will punch in a new performance and stay in that state until you press stop. Latch until next event will only record the new CC state until the start of the new MIDI note or clip. These are just a few of the many MIDI enhancements in Pro Tools 12.8.2. To get a full list and discover more new features, visit www.avid.com.